Ahmed, how are you? Hey, I'm good. How are you? Fine, thank you. Kamsad, first of all, what, what is your prediction for this fight? I mean, will you try to get an early finish considering that you may have another fight in a month? I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm ready for uh, everybody. I said to, I'm going to finish all my opponents. I'm going to try to do this one this in this fight. I'm going to do this. I'm going to finish this guy. Okay, and Gerald has said that, that he felt disrespected by all this situation of, of you getting another fight before facing him. What can you say about that? <laughs> I don't know why it's disrespect. Like he, in the amateur boxing, like people go like three, five, six fights and they, uh, but we go like, I go fight here now and after one month, it's, but I did it. 10 days, two fights, but I don't know why, how he, why he feel like this disrespect, like something like that. And did you have the, did you have the chance to, to meet him, maybe at the hotel or something? Yeah, he was here, I met him, he was like, stayed. I, I said, he, I, I, he was, he spoke, speak too much, he talk too much in my media, like he disrespect me, they did like this, this, these things, I didn't like that, but I said to him, you like to talk too much? He said, yeah, I said, I'm gonna smash your face, chicken. <laughs> and he said, nothing like I go from there. Okay, and, and which aspects of, of Gerald's uh, fighting game do you think you should be worried about? Is there anything that, that concerns you? What? I mean, uh, uh, do, do you have any concerns about his, his fighting game? Is something you, you should be worried about? No, nothing, nothing. I'm, I'm better everywhere. I'm better wrestling, I'm better grappling, I'm better like st in striking. How are you going to stop me? How? Oh, it's he, like he said, I'm my jujitsu, but if eight fights i ate finish but this guy's not was like joking like i fighting this were real fighters i finished the guys who is these guys to stop me i'm gonna smash his face also okay and Kamsad, are you still planning to go back and forth between divisions i mean do you do don't you think this might be affect your performance in the long term what Going, going up and down, going up and down in between divisions, from head, from welterweight to middleweight. Don't you think this may affect your performance? Both ways, I can go both ways. Uh, like, if they give me some good opponents, eight four kilos, I gonna take this eight four. And if they give me seven 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 seven, I'm ready for both weight class. I won't take like twelve both belt. Okay, and my last one. If you had to choose only one one division, where would you like to compete? Welterweight or middleweight? Where do you feel more comfortable? <laughs> like I said, it doesn't matter. It's heavyweight. My coach said to oh, go heavyweight. But against Brock Lesnar, I'm going to do this. It doesn't matter for me. I'm ready for everybody. Okay, thank you very much and good luck on Saturday. Thanks for you. We'll go next to Spencer Kite with UFC.com. Hi, Hamza. Thank you for the time. I appreciate it. Um, Thanks for you. I guess first one is just what have these, these last two months been like for you to go from short notice debut in the UFC to the breakout star of Fight Island to Dana White singing your praises and now making your, your debut in Las Vegas? What has it been like for you? It's been like crazy. I, I never like think like it's... I was thinking next year maybe I'm going to get go and get like UC fight like yeah, it's gonna be slowly slowly but now it's gonna like been crazy you know I mean Las Vegas uh, now I'm gonna fight in Las Vegas but one year before I didn't think about that I it was crazy uh, everything is turned to crazy how have you navigated that crazy how have you learned to deal with that crazy crazy is now your new normal I suppose but uh, uh, now I live close to the gym, like I live in the hotel, it's, uh, like come out from the hotel directly, like you go to the gym. I, two, two weeks I was in the Barcelona, like 
take relax after my fights uh, then come back like start hard work but people come to me take the pictures it's nice to talk to people uh, something is different now but i my hard work is stay still i do my work and um, yeah i gotta fight with everybody now you train with a lot of veterans at all stars and and very respected coaches what kind of advice and and lessons have you been able to learn from alex from andreas as you start down a road that that they've traveled together before well from this day i come to the all stars my coach is head coach andreas is always with me there's many things i get from him like every day he shows something to me my by my striking i didn't show my striking but not in the ufc but after the ufc i did my striking also i knocked out key one guy like i did take you in like ah, uh, because of him my striking is much better now uh, maybe i'm gonna show this in this fight uh, maybe it will be like take him down smash him but from the alex it's yeah always motivation be close to the alex because he did history like he, like his fights is always for me when i look there now it's now if i look him i it's been motivation for me because he's my brother i know him he's so close to me like he helped me like when from the beginning like i was out money him and reza he lived this guy he may help me a lot like now I come here. Now I have money, everything. I I want to say thanks to these guys because I'm here. Now. With so much that has changed for you in these last two months, there's a lot of attention on you. A lot of people really looking forward to this fight and and already talking about the next fight. Do you feel any pressure in this position? And and how do you sort of deal with? You know, all of these new expectations that are being placed on you. No, I don't feel pressure. It's like, I like this. So I like to speak with people, talk to people. I, yeah, it's nice. If somebody have good energy, like you, you love these people with the good, the good energy. So they love me. I love them back. It's nice. Everything is nice. The last one for me, you had a record setting debut on Fight Island. Two fights in 10 days, 192 strikes landed, only hit twice. How do you follow up that kind of performance on Saturday night? I don't know what's going to happen in Saturday night, but I'm going to go 100% to, to kill this guy. That's why I know. I don't know everything there, everything to finish him. Well, I appreciate the time. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your week and, and all the best on Saturday night. Thank you. We'll go next to Mike Bond with USA Today. Hey, Hamzat. Uh, I was wondering, you made an Instagram post about an hour ago talking about seemingly responding to some criticism about you helping the homeless man. Um, can you just elaborate on why you felt the need to post that? Because I see a lot of people like under why they make video, or they think I'd, I say to my friend, F do video like I'm gonna help somebody, like, you know, it's not my style. I don't, never did like this before. So, I didn't know he filming me, but the after the day after in the morning, I go into my Instagram, there are people to send to me, why are you filming you like you will show something like that. But no, I, my mother, my father, he teach me like if you, if somebody need help from you, you if you can help him, you know how to help him. If you help him uh, after this life, I think I know like it got to give me something because I help the people. Is that something as you know, you become a bigger star and make more money and all those things and get more attention and have a bigger platform? Is that what you want to use to kind of give back to, you know, less fortunate people when you're more successful? No, I don't want to be that superstar. I don't, I'm going to be champion. That's I need. I don't need all wow money. I need normal money like can help my family, help the people like I, I love and uh to be champion that's i'm like i don't need like be superstar like floyd Mayweather, like my mcgregor like these guys 
it's gonna it's it's it be it's, if it happens it will be good i can help to more people with the more money but for me now i wanna be champion it's number one for me i wanna be number one for one well, and the last thing for me, uh, I know you have two fights lined up right now, but you had said a few times on Fight Island, you want to fight Donald Cerrone. He's talking to us next. He's fighting one fight after you on this card. Is the UFC trying to tell us something about a potential fight between you guys here? Nobody tell me I'm going to fight with this guy, but I love this guy. He's one of the, I think, best fighters he's been like now. I don't know how he's... How he's like fighter, but he's a veteran in the MMA. I like this guy, but I wanna smash this guy because he our good name. Like he's he's uh, one of the superstar in the US uh, here. Uh, we will see if it happen. I will be happy. Thank you. Thanks for you. We'll go next to Fabricio Souza with Diario Claren. Hi, Gamsak. Thank you for your time. I'm sorry for my bad English first. <laughs> my English is not so good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, my is, is the worst. Uh, uh, you think you are the fighter of the moment in, in UFC? What? What do you say? Do you think uh, you are the, the fighter of the moment in UFC? I I don't know. I, I I'm the fighter. From my finger fight to my legs. <laughs> so I, yeah, what I can say. I don't know. It, they do me like they try to do me as a superstar, but I don't think about this shit. But be famous like something like that. But I I think about uh, how I gonna be champion. I know. Uh, I want to be, be champion number one for one. I think about, just about that. Yes. Uh, do you think many people uh, expect uh, or think many people expect you lose in uh, for with a rapid promotion of some of some savvy fighters? John Gura, John Spicy. What do you say? One more time, please. Uh, one more time. It, many people don't like the, the rapid promotion of some fighters. Do you think many people expect your, your loss? Yeah, many people like this, many people don't like this. It's always been like this. So what I can do? If they like, they like, and if they don't like, that like. So I'm gonna do my work. Okay. Why you are so dangerous into the octo octagon? What? Why you are so dangerous into the octagon? Because I work harder than everybody. <laughs> okay. In case of winning next Saturday. Uh, who you should uh, be your next opponent? I don't know. I have focus for this guy. I'm uh, gonna finish this guy next. We will see who who gonna be. I don't know. Yes. Uh, which fighter outside your division do you like or respect a lot? Many fighters. I have respect for everybody. For everybody, they work for uh, for family. For his, this is hard work. I know because I'm a MMA fighter. You how do if you if you will be in the UFC, you have to work hard. It's not easy to come to the UFC uh, because what they do, how they make money with his blood, you know, in the training, like everything, like they do. I have respect because of that for everybody here okay and the last one uh, if it is uh, for you uh, an extra pressure uh, to end the fight before the the shoot decision no no nothing i feel nothing i feel like i want to fight every day thank you Kamsa. thanks for you
Uh, thank you very much, Kamzat. Uh, you're all set.